for lack of a better term, they just don't match with 12. If you are a person that is in that space, you don't have to. You can actually just either send in a statement or exactly what just happened on your platform. That is something that can be used in the process of doing all of this. So if there are people that don't want to physically go in and talk to them and go about it that way for whatever reason, it ain't none of my business, they can still either type something out because that's still a form of a statement. The best way to go about doing it is for the people to go and make the report at their local station. If this is something that they don't want to do, collectively, we all need to be on the same page because when we present what we present to the said county where she is, it has to be enough for it to physic. What can I, I don't stick, I guess that's another for lack of a better term. The thing is, you all, is that it's been going on for so long, so clearly she thinks she's unstoppable. So it's going to take a voice. I hate what's happening to you. I did just kind of watch. I was watching, as a matter of fact, the young girls that were on your platform. Yep. And that's how I saw that you were live, and so I came over. But it's, it's remotely disgusting to me, as one, to attack somebody's mother. That's even way worse. But for everybody that's listening, this will continue to happen. People like her do things like this because a person will say, oh, well, let's do something about it and nothing ever gets done. Right. So in order for something to be done, people have to be persistent. So I'm a person, too. I really don't mess with 12 unless it's necessary. If you are a person and you're like, yo, I ain't doing that, but I'm willing to do this. By all means, write out, type a statement. You can send it to Miss Wiggy or you can send it to the inbox of Chop It Up. It's however you want to do it. It's just things that need to be done. That's first and foremost. And then let's just say you all, because what, I, what we're pushing for is a class action suit. I'm just telling you. Mm -hmm. And in order for that to happen, it has to be at least 15 people or more. Mm hmm it to be a class action suit i'm not asking anybody for anything i don't want anything the whole thing for me is you ain't gonna be sitting on the internet in front of me and you taking from people you're doing a disservice you mess it up for people that are looking for people to really tr truly help and maybe maybe they do charge a fee for something but this has gotten outrageous and it's still going on and what she's doing is sitting over there laughing in everybody's face as if it's a joke I don't find any of this funny at all. What I see is there are several people that have took their hard-earned money and paid for a service that was not rendered to them. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Either monies are going to be given back, and since she said that out, she ain't giving whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm trying to respect your platform. So I appreciate it. Since she stated that she is basically not giving anyone anything, then this is the next step to take. It's almost like you have to follow a chain of command. Right. So clearly somewhere people started, but they did not follow through for whatever reasons regarding their pages or whatever. What you have to understand is it takes nothing to make another page and start over. But you could be preventing somebody from this happening. So do you want to see another set of girls crying, spending thousands and thousands of dollars, and they're not getting anything? This is the biggest scam and the easiest place for people to be taken advantage of is over the Internet. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one that's going to take that lightly at all. So if there's anything that anybody needs from me, my page is open. If you all are over here and you have businesses that you are trying to grow, all you have to do is inbox, chop it up, your business page, and we will share it. This is not how you help people. This woman is doing a disservice to people, and it is actually making it worse than it is better. So there's nothing. There ain't no strings attached. I don't want nothing from nobody. I'm not trying to get anything from anyone. I am a person that I just feel like I'm very vocal. And in the space where there are people that may, maybe they can't be as vocal. Maybe they do have something. And my cousin had to bring this to my attention. Nisha said there are some people that do have something to lose where they can't. Right. So this is where I step in to be the voice for the people that can't really 
or for whatever reason, they're just not going to do it. So taking it seriously, moving forward, this is where we are with everything. And I so appreciate you, sister, for giving the information because I don't know any of you all. Not to say that I don't want to know you. I'm just saying I would not have known where to start. So this is why we be saying, hey, message her or message us. It's not just me. It's myself and I have one other person on my page. And we don't, if you look up and down the page, we don't play these type of games with people that think they can just take advantage of people. And that's what's been happening. True enough, she has a platform or whatever the case may be, but it's exactly what was just said. She used you all to grow her own. And that's just that. I don't care what the numbers were saying. You could buy people to show numbers. That don't mean nothing. You did not receive a service. A lot of people were mistreated. And who's going to do something about it? That's the question. That's really the question. So I want to be part of the solution and not contribute to the problem. Right. I know you were trying to get in touch with um, Trey. I was. Did, mm -hmm. um, do you still need to get in touch with her? I, I do. Okay. So if anybody can... on top of this, um, there's a lot of obscene things that should not have taken place, that have took place. And that's something to put a stop to as well. So yes, absolutely. Okay, guys. So if anybody knows um, Trust and Trade personally or um, can tag her in on this, by all means, please let her know that um, we need some information from her. Um, yeah. What I want people to, to think about is this. Think about the young lady that could have been, that could be your daughter. Right. It, it could be your sister. It could be, be any one of us if we were in a state where you saw me and I really had nothing. So then you take me and you make me see the better side. It's just like the street game. Like, just come on. You got kids in a crib. Mama may be a single parent. Mama can't really do much, might be working two jobs and whatever else. So the shorty going to go out on the block. Big homie on the block going to give you a pack. You're going to sell that pack and get you some quick money. That quick money look real good. So now you're looking at the big homie like he, he the big brother. He's something you got respect for him. That's the street code. This is not, you don't want this to go on. This woman manipulates people in horrible situations to make them think something looks better while exploiting them at the same time. I can't. I can't. And I'm not going to lie, especially with women of color. It disgusts me. It really, really does. Mm -mm. Right. So she had, it was, um, and I'm going to talk to you on the back end because I don't necessarily want to put anybody's name out there that may not necessarily be ready to come forward or even know that we have come forward. But I'm talking about mm -hmm. people with disabilities and stuff like that, um, that, you know, um, we're not done so right in her mentorship. Um, just one of my followers actually just said last night that she has a disability and she went to her and was like, hey, um, can you help me with my page? And she said very rudely, she said, look it up on the Internet. And I'm just like, wow, that was, you know, and this is one of my followers, but she was definitely very rude to her. And um, she's one of the sweetest people you'll ever know. So um, I do, guys, I do see you guys um, tagging the people. Some of the people have already reached out to me. Again, what we have to do is make sure that we file that police report. It does not matter if you guys are in another state. We have to file the police report first.